Warriors leading by 14. And for Golden State, in at small and power forward, it'll be Wiggins and Green. Some kind of shooting in the backcourt for him. It's Curry and Heal. And it's Jackson Davis in at the five, roaming the paint. And to me, Draymond Green really embodies the idea of a high IQ player. He can read the opposition, predict where a play is going, and those instincts aren't something that can be easily taught to anyone. And for Los Angeles, the guard pair, it's Harden and Powell. Down in the block, it'll be Kawhi next to Zubox. And it's Jones in at the three. Clock is at three. A three from Leonard. It's hauled in by Jackson Davis. Jackson Davis has got six rebounds here tonight. Here's Green. And he gets it to go. Green's got seven points. Now Draymond did a good job of getting some space there and rooting himself to collect. And now we've got some time to check in from the sidelines. You got for us, D.A.? Kevin, the Clippers are inaugurating their new arena this season, and they're set to host the All-Star Game next season. It will mark the seventh time that the L.A. area has hosted the All-Star facilities. Kevin, there will be no shortage of stars in attendance. That's always the way it is in L.A. You're so right, David. It ought to be quite a spectacle. And it's blocked. And it's going to be out of bounds. The Clippers will retain possession. Here's the three. Yeah, starting the half here, one for five, and the offense might need an ironing out. And a big lead for them on both the scoreboard and the backboard thus far. On the wing, heel. Guarded by Powell. Lock at six. Here's Wiggins. No luck, they battled on the glass, but couldn't knock it down. And so it's Harden bringing it up for the Clippers. Down by 15. They'll be playing host to Portland for their next game. And that will be the first game of five straight at home. Here's Leonard. Ooh, Kawhi gets it to go. And not much breathing room there. The step back move gave him just enough to get it off. Here's Green. Good, and Curry gets the assist. Nine points for Draymond Green. And defensively, guys, they've been unable to shut down the middle. Lobs it up for Zubats. Up high to stuff the alley-oop. Wow. Zubats way up. Warriors leading by 13. Curry deciding where to go with it. Oh, and there's the alley-oop. What elevation. He's a smaller but still determined big man. And he likes mixing it up with his impressive vert. Harden kicks to Powell. Leonard against Green. Leonard the pass to Harden. Shoots over Curry. Here's Zubats. And contact on the shot. So he'll be shooting free throws here. The effort level from Zubats is something that the coaching staff and obviously his teammates greatly appreciate. Night in and night out. He's given you his all. First free throw is good. Staying healthy and rested has been, Brent, a challenge for this Clippers team. Well, of course, Kevin, this affects every team throughout the course of a long season. But, yeah, the Clippers have had a really tough time keeping their stars healthy. Their fans have been patient. Their ownership has been patient. But patience runs out. At some point, you want this team to have that full health and that full run 
to maybe get after one of those titles. And Zubats has proven that uh, Brent, there's still a place in the league for old school center. Well, I think he plays Kevin with a combination of talent around him that allows him to, to situate himself right where he needs to be. Impactful around the basket, a huge rebounding presence, a guy that brings some physicality, and he's been in a perfect slot to, to show why it is he's such a valuable NBA player. Just too determined. Zubat's finishing strong. Pass to Jackson Davis. Back to Curry. Jones against Green. To the middle. And stolen by Dunn. Passes it to Harden. Shoots over Curry. That one's in there. The Warrior lead is cut down to just 12 points with the basket from James Harden. Now Curry. He has six. Over the course of a season, each team takes on a certain personality. Uh, Brent, do coaches try to shape that personality based on their roster? Well, Kevin, it's a great question, and I think the best coaches in our league adapt to the personality of the team as it starts to formulate throughout the season. You lean in to what guys naturally are. Some success comes with that. And he makes the first. Yeah, we talk so much about Curry being the best shooter after he makes a three, but there's a lot more to it. I mean, this guy is also the most accurate free throw shooter of all time. So it's pure no matter where it comes from. Stephen Curry hits them both. At this point, you might as well go ahead and chalk up the points when he's at the free throw line. Pretty much automatic. Up top, Powell, covered by Wiggins. Harden outside, back to Zubac, just five to shoot. Powell for three, and it's Curry with the rebound. Warriors leading by 14, and the dunk to finish it off, a ah, beauty. So much talk about Steph's scoring ability, but he's also a great facilitator. From deep Harden. Offensive rebound. And the shooting has really been there for him today, but he may have to take it upon himself to continue to carry this team and try and get out of this hole. Driving inside. Pass to Green. And the pass to Kerr. Jackson Davis with it, and he takes the feed in stride and slams it home. That's what happens. You play up on Curry too much, and then he finds an angle, delivers the ball. Devastating pick and roll. And the Clippers call time here. We've seen the NBA feature several overseas games, Greg, the last couple years. Always growing the sport, aren't they? And I know the fans love it. And nothing quite like seeing an NBA game in person and expanding that opportunity. Always a plus. Jonathan Kaminga, he's checked in for the Warriors. And the Clippers making a change here as well. Mann's checked in. Zubats in the post. Jackson Davis defending. It's going to be out of bounds. Los Angeles will retain possession. 
Nicholas Batum. He's checked in for Jones. Goes up off the inbound. The Warriors pull it in. Curry's got six rebounds here tonight. And physically, there's no doubt they've been the stronger team. A plus 10 rebound advantage tells you all you need to know. A shot by Pajemski, no good. Clippers trail by 16. Pass to man. Shooting foul as the whistle blows. He'll shoot two free throws. And it goes on Draymond Green. And some stats here, guys. The scoring breakdown for the Warriors. I mean, they've been stepping it up in terms of their shooting from distance. And the confidence has been there all game long, leaving the defense to scramble. And I feel like there's been an old school aspect to what they've done tonight, and that is pounding the ball inside, getting it down low, getting those looks in close. That's been effective. And Brent, you know this being in an NBA front office. Last season, the Clippers deemed Terrence Mann untouchable in the Harden trade. Well, Kevin, you wonder for Terrence Mann if that's due to some of the injuries at the positions that the Clippers were dealing with. But overall, this guy is a star in his role. He's always been a connector. He continues to grow his game and get more confident in his outside shooting. There's a lot of value to what Terrence Mann brings to the table. Two free throws coming up, and they call the shooting foul. Looking now at some numbers for Zubats. Good season for him last year. Third in shooting percentage. And he was among the top 20 rebounders in the league. Never shot about throwing his weight around in the paint. And it's a pretty terrific feat to finish top three in field goal percentage. Just a testament to how hard he works to become the consummate pro. He's off on the first. He hits the second from the line. Clippers trail by 16. Man passes to Batum. Here's Porter. And the layup's good off the glass. Defenses try to test Porter's physicality, but he's adjusted well to it. Here's Pajemski. He's got five. Here's Curry. And again, no good by Golden State. Curry against Porter. Man in the corner. And the three ball is good. Man's got 12 points in the game. And how about Porter Jr.'s court awareness? Excellent job finding the open man with the pass. Here's Jackson Davis. Back to Curry. Over Porter. Curry crashes inside. Another good play. This is how they built the lead, calling on the right guys at the right time. Basketball IQ is something that gets talked about, but it's importance to a team showing up here, running plays that turn into scores. Here's Dunn. And he gets the whistle. Two free throws coming up. Jonathan Kaminga picks one up. This is his first free throw of the game. You know, this is not an area where they expect him to contribute. You know, he's a guy that shot below 70% last season. And the first one drops. And the Warriors making a change here. Melton's checked in.
Good on both. And so Curry will bring it up for Golden State. They led by as many as 18 points. Following this one, they get to host the Pelicans. And that will be the middle game of this three-game homestand. Here's Dunn. And two free throws coming up. Unable to get that one to go with all the content. Now we have a chance. Let's take a look at the teams that led the NBA in rebounding last season. The Warriors, number one. They, they had such a strong presence in the paint. Just a physical team. They dominated the interior in terms of rebounding. The free throw drops in for Dunn. Both good from the line that time. Warriors leading by nine. Melton feeling it out a bit, and they call an illegal screen here. And a moment here to check out who the Golden State Warriors have coming up. On Tuesday, they'll go up against C.J. McCollum and the New Orleans Pelicans. And that game against Houston, that one will mark game number six for them in the NBA season. We'll see if there are any adjustments between now and then to the rotation. And your point guard's got to be the catalyst. Great job getting to the 10. Well, Greg, he knows when they need a lift. Did you see how much air he had under him? Wow. Curry's shot is good. I mean, could we say he was playing possum a bit there in the first half? Because it seems to be a different guy out there, way more assertive. Porter inside. Curry meets him. Serious hops from Porter on that one. Slamming it down with authority. The Warriors shooting with confidence. 50% from the field so far. Passes it to Looney. Back to Curry. Kaminga against Batum. Six to shoot. Kaminga the pass to Melton. It's hauled in by Zubats. Zubats has got his 16th rebound on the night. That's good, and the Warrior lead is cut down now to just five on the basket from Dunn. And now you see them starting to really work the ball inside. Curry finds Pajemski. Now Kaminga. Pajemski with it. Five points in the game. If you told me this was the kind of game he was going to have, I would not have expected them to be in front right now. And finished off by Porter. Big hops from the backcourt. Oh, absolutely. And maybe just what they need to get this game GA going in their direction. Defense has got to be better. Flat out effort was not there. And here's Los Angeles. They're on a 20 to 7 run. Pass to Dunn. One twenty-seven left to play in the third. Floats one. Here's Zubats. Makes the bucket. Now he's got five field goals. Five for eight in the game. And they're beginning to just flat out fall apart defensively right now. Especially on the interior. And here is Kaminga. Eight points for him. Floats it up for Kaminga. Hammers the alley-oop through. Oh, that's impressive. Kaminga with the catch and the flush. Porter, bounce pass. Here's Batum. At demand. Second chance shot. Warriors with the rebound. They led by as many as 18 points. Time for some consideration in the passing category, maybe, Kevin. The shot is just not on. Get somebody else going. And it's just one of those days, guys. He has just struggled to shoot the basketball. Shot and game clock separated by five. On the wing, Porter guarded by Kirk. And they pick up two. Porter's got ten points in just the second half. 
He just takes advantage of the D in a way that very few players playing today can do. This is his second trip to the line in this one. And, and over the course of last year, he was up over 90%. And with a stroke like that, you see why. Free throw good, Curry. So it's both teams making substitutions here. And both free throws good for Curry. Five seconds left in the third quarter of the game. And Leonard puts it up from deep three. And we just finished the third quarter, and we've got a tight ball game here. Warriors lead by three. And when we return, we'll get the fourth quarter rolling right here on 2K Sports. How about a look at today's State Farm assist of the game? And, and I'm glad this was the pick because I love this pass. Such a great dish. That's what I call court vision. Well, a great job with the eyes. And what separates great playmakers, as we know, is peripheral vision. We've reached the fourth quarter, and what has been a very competitive game should be an exciting finish. So with Curry sitting on the bench, here's the group that Steve Kerr has on the floor. The athletic front court pair, Wiggins alongside Kaminga. DeAnthony Melton out there with heel, and it's Green in at the pivot spot, manning the middle. And, and got to like what they've been doing down low in the post. Here's heel. Great D that time from Powell. Clippers trail by three. Kicks it to Leonard. Shoots over Kaminga. Good on the 13-footer. Leonard's got the first points up on the board here in the fourth for Los Angeles. Healed outside. Down low. Here's Kaminga. The rebound by Harden. Well, the defense was right up on him, so electing to go for the fadeaway there to create some room. Well, that makes sense. And that won't go, missing the go-ahead bucket. So it's the Warriors now. They lead by one. And Kaminga throws it down. And how about the incredible timing on that alley-oop? He absolutely hammered it down. Fourth quarter now. We're about a minute and a half in. Harden dishes to Powell. Good. It's Harden with the assist that time. Harden's got his sixth assist on the night. Now Norman Powell has a lot of strength, and that time he played to it. Powell against Heal. On the wing, Melton. And oh, he blocked it and deflects off the backboard. Terrific defense from Zubats. His team relies on him to help alter shots. Yikes, that one stings there. Hurts so much more to turn the ball over, especially with how tight the game is. Harden looking it over. And he drops in the layup off the glass. And the Clippers lead by one. And taking a quick look here, guys, at the hustle stats for the Clippers. Uh, they made a point to protect the rim, challenging shots all game long, and the block total is off the charts. 
The other part about tonight, you got to give credit to the coaching staff. They came in here with a great game plan, defensively locked in. They were ready for the sets. They jumped in passing lanes. They came away with steals. I mean, they anticipated just about everything. Leonard against Kaminga. The offensive rebound takes it out to Leonard. Six on the shot clock. It's stolen by Kaminga and stolen by Leonard. The Clippers again turning it over. And some changes here for the Warriors. Grace Jackson Davis is checked in for Jonathan Kaminga. And it's Brandon Pajemski in for DeAnthony Melt. The Warriors have gone just 33% from the field in the fourth quarter so far. They are two of six. And there's the dish to Wiggins. The pass to Heal. Pass to Pajemski. Offline with his three. Not his best game, but they're still getting it done collectively. Over three and a half minutes through the final quarter now. And again, no good by the Clippers. He may not be the strongest inside presence, but still, he's got to convert from there. But on the bucket, Jackson Davis has got 11 in the second half. Wow, what a setup there. Green plays with great speed and plays with great pace. And that's a nice field play. Now here's Leonard. Got a piece of it. In the corner, Powell with it. Down to five on the shot clock. Warriors with the rebound. Jackson Davis has got nine rebounds in the game. Getting it done. Here's Wiggins. That one drops for him. Now it's a six-point Warrior lead. The length of Wiggins helping him out there, able to stretch it up on the inside and find a shot. Leonard kicks to Harden to stop the drought, and good, and it takes a nice bounce off the right iron and down. 19 points for James Harden. Powell against Heald. Outside, Green. Rebound by the Clippers. Zubats is... And so it's Harden bringing it up for the Los Angeles Clippers. Four-point game. The shot by Powell, no good. The Warriors have gone. Four of ten here in the final period. Not the time to go cold. Some nice passing by Golden State here. Here's Pajemski. And he uses the glass on the layup. And the Warriors lead by six. Those defenders just look a little bit gassed. I mean, they're getting pushed around on that low block. It's Powell on the wing. It's good. The assist that time from Harden. Harden's got his seventh assist of the game with that last one. Warriors leading by four. Now Pajemski. Jackson Davis finds Pajemski. And good, he nails it. Pajemski's got four points this quarter. Clippers trail by six. Up top, Powell, covered by Heal. Powell, the pass to Jones. Now the Warriors moving it up. Here's Heal. And that'll be two free throws coming up. Officials on the call with the foul. Well, Heald plays with such drive and intensity at all times that he just can't help but create a foul shot with that opportunity. The first one falls. And Buddy Heel just has such an incredibly quick trigger. Curry's checked in for Brandon Pajemski.
Both shots good from the strike. And very quietly, Heald is one of the best three-point shooters in our league, as dangerous as they come. Outside Leonard. Over Green. Leonard, no luck. And hard work on the glass. Once again, guys, they put a lot of effort and focus on the backboard. Green finds Curry. Heald against Powell. Outside Green. Shot clock at six. Over Leonard. They get it again. Jackson Davis. And that's good. A nice job in the glass as they pick up two on the second effort. Doing a lot of nice work now from the field. He's helped get them this lead, and now he's helped them keep it. Leonard inside. Jackson Davis defending. And there's the whistle on the shot. Took the foul. Shot misses. He'll be shooting two. People like to debate, and Greg, I don't know if this is you, what's better, Kawhi's defense or his offense? Well, Kevin, I'll say this. Even if he was a subpar defender, his offense alone would have him among the league's top players. But his defense isn't subpar. At its best, it's elite. And the first one at the line is good. Brent Kawhi Leonard seems to be at his best. He is his most incredible when it matters the most. Yeah, I think we sometimes tend to forget about how dominant Kawhi was in the performances at the biggest moments during the NBA Finals with his MVP awards. And it's mostly due to the fact that injuries have taken him away from those moments. But it's all in there. He is capable of dominating a game on both sides of the floor, Kevin. And I hope that there's another opportunity for us as fans to see him have one more crack at that, if not a couple more, before his career is over. Harden against Curry. It's hauled in by Los Angeles. Here's Mann. Lays it up off the glass. Here's Curry. Puts up a deep three. The putback. Great positioning on the putback. And the Warriors lead by eight. You know we talk about it all the time, guys. Those second chance buckets, always the result of that extra effort. Harden the pass to Jones. And I like the fact that the defense is looking to protect the rim at all costs. And that one falls for Jones. And one of the problems in the first half, that shoddy work at the free throw line. They needed to fix that, and they've been much improved since the break. And he can't hit the second. And so Green will bring it up for the Warriors. They led by as many as 18 points. Oh, phenomenal alley-oop slam there. They are taking advantage of a team that looks lost out there. Clippers trail by nine. Man with it. In the corner, Harden. Always going up for the alley-oop here. And stolen by Wiggins. Curry against Jones. Curry kicks to Green. Back to Curry. Six on the shot clock. Here's Wiggins, and he wills that one in. Sinking right through off the back iron. 
And we've seen Wiggins in that jump shot really evolve over the years. He doesn't waste chances. He's efficient from there. Harden against Curry. Harden, no good. Warriors leading by 11. Right side, Curry. Curry always finds a way. This time, inside. They're finding lanes to the hoop now with consistency. Five buckets in a row from the paint. Harden bounce pass. Here's Leonard. Grabs the rebound again. Rebound after rebound after rebound. Oh, G.A., he is crashing the glass with energy. I love it. Outside Curry. With a floater and foul on the shot. So he'll get a chance at the line. It's going to be on James Harden. Yeah, and you don't want to put Curry at the line. That's just dangerous and pretty much two points. Stefan, the best free throw shooter ever. The free throw drops for Curry. Yeah, so easy to root for Stephen Curry because of how much fun he seems to have on the floor. Embraces the competition, but is able to laugh it off when something doesn't go his way. A lot of things do, though. And both free throws good for Curry. And the Clippers call time here. And they're allowing too many points in the paint. Coach is going to let them hear about it. Yeah, coach knows that. They know that. In the timeout, they're going to hear about it, make the adjustment. And now a moment to present the New Balance player of the game. And it's been a ridiculous performance in the best sense possible. I mean, everything about his game has been working. And no matter what they've thrown at him, he's had the answer. He doesn't take over games like this very much, but it's always possible. And when he does here at home, these fans love it. Right now, I'd send it over to the sidelines and get a report from David Aldridge. Hey, Kevin, during that last break, I heard Teron Lou as he talked with the team. Now, he was vocal in the huddle. He told his guys, don't quit on each other. We're still in this game, guys, but I need each one of you to up your energy level. Let's make a run now. Back to you guys. Thanks, David. With those long arms and with the high release point, Leonard is practically daring you to foul him. free throw is good. Yeah, he may not play in every game, but when it matters, Kawhi Leonard, he's about as good as it gets. All free throws good from Kawhi Leonard. 
known for his incredible defense. Leonard's huge hands and timing really helped make an impact on that end. Up top, Curry, guarded by Harden. Curry against Harden. And the rejection by Harden. Jones, the pass to Harden. Back to Jones. Trying to go for an alley-oop, but excellent defense and anticipation there to stop it. Pass to Jackson Davis. It's Curry outside. Hits the three-point bomb. Curry's got seven now in this quarter. And tonight's battle is going to end with a very clear winner, leaving nothing to chance. Impressive win for the Warriors. A beautiful pass doesn't always get you on the highlight reels, but there were some spectacular dishes in this game. But you know what? It was a team that was in sync and, and just trusted one another to take the right shots. And it'll go down as their first official win of the new year. They can chalk this one up, but these two teams will see plenty more of one another before the season's over. And Wiggins anticipated that one. He saw the foul coming, and he made sure to get that one off. Free throw good, Wiggins. As steady as Wiggins is across the board, it's his free throw percentage over the years that hasn't reflected really how good a shooter he is. Looking at who's out there now for the Warriors, Kevon Looney is checked in for Trace Jackson Davis. Jonathan Kaminga comes in for Green. Pajemski, he's checked in for Heald. And it's DeAnthony Melton in for Stephen Curry. And so he makes both from the line. And the winner's mentality Wiggins has is commendable. A hard worker who wants to keep improving. Now, Highland. There's 38 seconds left in the fourth quarter of this one. And that one's good by Porter. Yeah, really a quality pass there from Highland. Saw the opening and helped a ready shooter to use it. Pajemski finds Melton. Pass to Looney. Well-timed pass, and he goes straight to the bucket for the layup. Saw the opportunity to put this away, and you could see the killer instinct take over. Yeah, up until that point, a competitive game, but once they broke through that barrier, it was all them. Complete control. So we see the Warriors taking the game here. They won this game going away. They were the better basketball team by far tonight. And you got to commend this sort of dominance, particularly here at home. It's a great feeling when you play almost a perfect game and to have that crowd be so pumped up. It's time now to go courtside as we send you over to David Aldridge from the sideline. David, take it away. Thanks very much, Stefan. How special is it to share your success with your family? That's what it's all about, man. I know you know when your kids get to enjoy uh, the game and the show, and uh, it's fun. So uh, I'm glad I did something good for them in the fourth quarter. <laughs> They'll remember all of it, I'm sure, man. Congrats on the win. Back to you guys. Thank you for that, David. And that'll do it, folks. For Brent Berry, Greg Anthony, and David Aldridge, this is Kevin Harlan along with our 2K Sports crew thanking you for tuning in. We'll see you later.